Hi everybody, welcome back for another tutorial. We're working on another Halloween painting today. We're gonna paint a little owl in a, in a witch hat with a glowing moon behind and it's gonna be lots of fun. I'm so excited and if you guys are ready to paint along with me, then hit subscribe now and let's begin. Okay, for this painting tutorial, we're working on a 12 by 16 canvas today. I've got prism purple or prism violet and cobalt blue titanium white to begin. I'm gonna get my canvas ready by just wetting it a little bit with this large blending brush. It's a number 50. Okay, so just a little bit of water on here. I've prepped my canvas beforehand with one coat of acrylic gesso white and I let it dry. I'm going to start just by taking both colors, the purple and the blue, and I'm going to go around the sides here. It's just so much easier to pull that paint around when the canvas is a little bit wet like this. Make sure you don't use too much water when you do that, otherwise your paint won't have any color. It'll just be so watered down and transparent, you'll have to wait until it dries. So I'm gonna keep going around, pushing and turning my brush like this to make these circular shapes until I'm left with a nice bright circle for my glowing moon. And then I'm gonna come back around the bottom and cover this section of the canvas up. And then work my way up in those nice circular brush strokes. Once you're left with the shape and the color that you want, you can dry it off. I think I'm just going to use the rest of this. I accidentally just picked up a little bit of white, but that's okay. And it's drawing a little bit lighter than what I uh, originally wanted it to. So I'm going to just go over with a little bit more. So I'll just take a little bit more here of my phthalo blue, or not phthalo blue, my cobalt blue, and see what a difference that makes. Speaking of phthalo blue, you could definitely use that as well. There, so that's added a little bit more depth, I think, to this painting. Now the next thing I wanna show you guys is how we can add some stars and make this look like a more of a night sky. Even though we've got this moon, I think we could have some cute little stars here too. And I just got a toothbrush that I use for painting snowflakes and stars. And I just get it wet like that, dunk it in the water, take a little bit of white scrub you want to have the whole toothbrush saturated and then i turn it over and then i push my thumb against the back and i'm going to pull and flick up with my finger here so just point and aim where you want those stars and then pull and flick so i think that's quite pretty i don't think i want to have any more than that now if you want to have you know, more of some, like a few stars that are a little bit softer looking. 
I kind of just dab like that and then it looks like there's a few glowing areas. You can make some twinkling stars as well if you wanted to. I'm not for this painting. I'm going to leave it as is. And we're going to start uh, coming in with a branch for our owl. And I'm going to be using black. Just take a little bit of this black here with my round brush. And this is a number two round brush I'm using. And I'm going to start from the side here. Push, wiggle, and I'm going to make the branch go kind of swooping down like that to go along with the dip we have from the shape of our background and those brush strokes. So you want to apply that black paint over until it's not see-through anymore. And if you want to have a few other branches, little baby ones coming out, that looks nice too. And then I'll add a little highlight. So I'll take a bit of that blue that we had, a little bit of white. And just pull, twist, and wiggle. Clean any black off my brush that I may have picked up along the way. And add a little bit more like that. I'm going to come back in here and adjust this and bring some more black over. Okay, so we're going to have our cute little owl resting right in here. And I'm going to be using uh, my filbert brush here. It's a number four narrow filbert. And I think I'm going to take, well, we'll use black and white. So we'll paint the outline of our owl in black first. And we're going to have a circle like this for the belly and the main part of the body. Then we'll have some little wings that come out and just tuck around the side like that. And then the wing on this side is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna swoop down here and over. So swerve. And then I'm going to take some white right away just so that I can get rid of that initial line. And then we're going to swoop down again and then twist over. Take a little bit of white. There, so now we know that those are the wings on the side. And we'll go back to black. Picked a little bit of yellow up accidentally from my last painting. I've been doing a whole series of Halloween paintings. I'm having so much fun this year with Halloween. I think it's because I'm a grandma now and I can just get right back into it. I think when our kids grow up and they're not in that Halloween mode anymore, you know, when your kids are in school and you're taking them out for trick-or-treating and all that fun stuff. When they grow up, it stops and it kind of, I don't know, it takes the fun out of it. So now that I'm a grandma, I can get into it again and I really have been. So I'm just going to do this little tap, tap, tap scoop for the bird's 
chin or bottom of the face. And then I'm going to come around and make an oblong shape. And we'll just do it like this first. And then slightly bring it up a little bit higher. And then I'm going to come in with white now because we have to do the eyes and um, the, the feathers above the eyes and the ears after. So without washing my brush off, I'm just going to push and tap like this. A little bit more white. And we'll be adding more white as we progress along throughout this painting on the outer edges of the owl just so that it really get that glowing effect from the moonlight. Pick up a little bit more white here. little taps and then I'm going to push and pull and now it gets a bit darker so I'm going to start bringing in pulling in a little bit more black gradually a little bit like that into a little point just like that and then we can come out And the same thing on this side. And we'll do two circles big circles for the eyes. We need to take a little bit of that paint off. bit more black outline and I'll make some gray now and we'll just start to pull and flick to create the little fuzzy, furry looking hairs. So you want to sweep and pull. Pick up a little bit more white now.
I'm going to concentrate on highlighting these areas right here. I'm creating a little, little feather pattern that scoops, scoops, scoops. And then gradually goes down in here. I'll take a little bit more of my black. work on some feathers that come down over this side now, nice and bright. Really get a sense of that moonlight casting down here. And then it gets narrower and narrower. Now we can start working on this area. So I'll be taking a little bit of black and white to make that gray. And you could do a lot of these little scoops. I might switch over to another brush, one that's a little bit wider. So this one here will help. This is one of the number nine. I'm gonna get it a little bit wet. Make that color again. And I'm just going to go underneath here first. Take a little bit more black. And then I'll push. So there's a few different ways that you can make those scoopy feather patterns. Another would be just by creating scoops underneath like this. And this might just show up a little bit better if I use a little bit more black first. and then I'll come over with white. But you can see the technique I'm using. It's like you're overlapping, you're creating these scallops. And then I'll go into my white. And I'm going to dry this off and then I'll be able to add a little bit more depth and then we can come in with a nose as well. This way I can have some more control. It's a smaller brush. And we're going to go right about here. Make an upside down V and then Bring it in narrow, so this looks like a diamond. And 
and I'm gonna outline the eyes where they're gonna be really dark. And then just pull and flick a little bit of that black. And with this brush, we can now come in and start creating these little scoops for the feathers. Add just a little indication of little claws here. One, two, three. Add a little bit more white. A little something like that. And then move over here. One, two, three. Add some more white to the outside here. And when I do this, I'm going to push and turn and flick towards the belly. And carefully come inside the eyes. Add a little shine to the beak. Okay, and then some black. Create just a few little scoops like that. Add a few more shadows and build up the contrast a little bit around the eyes here. Whoops. I'm going to outline the little claws here. accident. And I'm going to 
add some more white with a clean brush. Just re-highlighting. So that's one way of adding the highlights on the feathers, but I've got a really cool brush that I'm gonna show you guys. This one is a Zen Filbert. You can see it's got those little spaces, it looks like a little rake almost. I'm gonna get that wet, pull into my white, and pull and flick. We can create more of a feathery look by using this brush. And then soften a little bit. So there's a few different ways of doing it. I'm gonna add a little bit more white in this section here. And just scumble out a little bit of that leftover paint. Come in with black and add some more shadow down here. I'm going to use some neon yellow cool. Okay, now I can come in and mix up a little bit of my white and my yellow. And I'm just going to outline. Just a really thin line like that. And then we'll add our black. It's really starting to look more like an owl now, isn't it? I 
I'm going to add a little bit of white white highlights in here. And then we'll do two little dabs. Of white here. Little ovals. Now we can add our little hat on top. I'm going to use my little filbert again. Take some black, go across the top. And we'll just do the little brim. And then we'll bring it up. hat like that. You can make your witch hat however you want. This is just how I want to have mine. Call it a little highlight here around the front. Maybe some folds, little folds like this. Okay, and then I'm going to take some yellow warm and some white, and we'll add a little buckle, do a rectangle like this, add a little bit of black.
And I think it would be fun to have some hanging little pumpkins, maybe. So I think I'll take a little bit of my white and my neon yellow warm. And we'll have a few little pumpkins. Maybe, well, maybe we'll have another one hanging here. A little bit of water on my brush. Neon orange. Take a bit of that neon yellow. We'll start creating these lines. Pattern that pumpkins have. And then we've got to add a little topper for the stem. So grab the black and yellow cool and red and white. And then mix that orange, black, white, and yellow together. Basically just want to have a dark color. to add some lines and shadows. And we could have a little pumpkin face. I'm just going to outline the eyes using a little bit of black.
a little orange. So to make it look like our pumpkins are going inside and lit up, we need to have them a little bit dark on the outside. I'm going to add a little bit of my neon yellow cool and some white for the inside. Okay, we'll take a clean brush, a little bit of yellow and white, and we'll add some light inside of here. Take a little bit of my yellow and my orange. You can have some areas around here that maybe the moonlight's hitting so you can see some color. I'll highlight these stems a little bit with my yellow and white. If you wanted, you could add some little leaves. Push and wiggle just with uh, the black, yellow, orange. I think some of the stars over here need a bit of turquoise, so I'm just going to add a little bit of turquoise. I don't want to have too, too much color in my brush. Just makes them look like they're glowing a little bit more. a little bit on this branch as well. The last color I'm going to take is light blue violet. Just a little bit. I just go on the outside of the white on both sides of the eye. A little bit on the nose.
and just a little around the folds here. Okay, this painting is all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Happy Halloween, happy painting, and I'll see you all next time soon in another video. Please subscribe to my channel for more. Don't forget to check out links below for Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, and our Facebook group, of course, and Patreon. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye.